As is Kimmy Speaks, and this is vlog 40. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, and it's been about two weeks. Um, I've missed vlogging, but um, I, I, what can I say? I really don't have much of an excuse for you except for the fact that I'm a college student and I'm taking seven classes. So I really don't have much of an excuse because I do have four day weekends. But I was doing other things, plus this week was my birthday weekend and my birthday week. So, um, yeah. Now, um, the last time I left off with you guys, I was reading Second Kings, um, but I feel like taking a different move. Now, um, what I'm going to read to you, what I want to uh, read to you guys is tied into the book of Second Kings as far as uh, time, chronological time. Um, so that's good. Um, and that's what I want to read to you. So what I want to read to you guys is the book of Micah. Um, that's what I want to read to you guys. Before I do that, of course, I'm going to share a story. Um, and uh, then we'll get started. So, uh, you know, lately I've been thinking about justice, injustice, uh, how to deal with those type of things, judgment, um, what's going on with the economy, what's going on with uh, the poor, what's going on with the rich, and all types of things. And it was crazy. I got on the train tonight on my way home. And um, before I even tell this story, I just want to, to be clear that I am not racist or uh, prejudiced against races. Um, but I do pay attention to certain patterns um, that happen. So from time to time. So um, I was on the train and uh, these two Caucasian guys got on the train. One of them had like a Rangers jersey, uh, you know, it was a New York Rangers or Jersey Rangers, Jersey Rangers, New Jersey Rangers. I, I don't know. I really don't keep up with sports that much. But anyway, um, they had on the jersey. One of them had on the jersey, the other one had on whatever. So one, the one with the jersey came in and he had like a plate of pizza and he had a tall beer can and a bag. His other friend had like this huge mini keg of an Heineken. So he gets on the train and and and, and first of all, it's kind of uh, it's kind of awkward because of just the fact that they got on and they were holding these alcoholic beverages. And um, so they got on and one of the guys, the other guy, not wearing the jersey, he opened his beer and it splashes like all of the people were sitting in that area like this one guy sitting next to him this black guy and he is a young guy and he's wearing a leather jacket and so the beer splashes on him then the other guy splashes on him sitting on my side and um, um, I happen to be reading my school book and it splashes on my book so uh, for most of you guys who watch my videos and, and pay attention to me and even know me personally you kind of know I'm a pacifist um, does that mean I don't fight for anything? No, it just means you pick your battles, so to speak. And <laughs> I don't know, I'd rather um, talk it through than to, you know, act a fool. But anyway, so I get on the train, this happens. So one of the guys sitting on my right, one of the, another black guy, because we're in a three train and it's about after nine. And he's like, yo, you know, if this, you know, if you was downtown further or uptown further, you know, you'd have been, you know, this and X, Y, and Z would have happened to you. And the guy with the leather coat was just kind of like, he's trying to keep himself calm. I'm looking at my book and I'm saying, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to take this book back to school. It's going to smell like beer. Yeah. So... So then, like, you know, after the, the, the guys get off, the, the black guys get off, the, the two Caucasian guys, they're still on the train, and one of the guys spills his beer all through the train. He throws his trash underneath the, the seats. And actually, before, they, before the, the, the black guys left, um, the guy was like, the white, the Caucasian guy was like, you guys don't drink on the, on the train? And he's like, like, why are you trying to make a joke out of it? Like, no, we don't drink on the train, you know? And so it, it, it's kind of like, honestly, what it made me think of is this. If a, I feel like if a cop that came on the train 
that you know they would have gotten you know told what not to do or whatever they may or may not have been arrested or if they were you know depending on their wealth you know they could be released um but then if it was a black guy he would automatically be taken out written up you know taken to jail booked all that stuff now am i saying that Caucasians get it easier than blacks? Not necessarily. What I am saying is that there's this injustice of the wealthy getting over and the poor having to pay the penalty a lot of the times. For instance, if we talk about this, uh, what was her name? It keeps going in jail. What is that? Lindsay Lohan or something like that? Some, I don't even, I, 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 it's like, I don't even try to pay attention to it because it's just, it's just not right, you know. She should do the time, or whoever, you know, they should do the time that they need to do because it really needs to be a rehabilitation happening. So, that's the end of my rant. So, once again, I'm not prejudiced, I'm not racist, but I do pay attention to when there's injustice happening. And I do the same thing when if there was... You know, a parent on the train and, and they were, you know, ridiculously, you know, hitting their child or whatever. I do, I do the same. So, after I said all that, uh, I'm going to read to you guys the book of Micah. Now tonight, I mean, how long is this video? This video has been going on for about, what, <laughs> four minutes now? And I haven't seen you guys in two weeks, or I should say you haven't seen me in two weeks, right? I'm going to read the first chapter of Micah. So I'm going to read it to you guys in the NIV version uh, tonight, for a translation, right? So here we go. The word of the Lord that came to Micah of Moresheth during the reigns of Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, the vision he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. Hear, O peoples, all of you, listen, O earth, and all who are in it, that the sovereign Lord may witness against you the Lord from his holy temple. Look, the Lord is coming from his dwelling place. He comes down and treads the high places of the earth. The mountains melt beneath him, and the valleys split apart, like wax before the fire, like water rushing down a slope. All this is because of Jacob's transgression, because of the sins of the house of Israel. What is Jacob's transgression? Is it not Samaria? What is Judah's high place? Is it not Jerusalem? Therefore, I will make Samaria a heap of rubble, a place for planting vineyards. I will pour her stones into the valley and lay bare her foundations. All her idols will be broken to pieces. All her temple gifts will be burned with fire. I will destroy all her images. Since she gathered her gifts from the wages of prostitutes, as the wages of prostitutes, they, again, they will again be used. Because of this, I will weep and wail. I will go about barefoot and naked. I will howl like a jackal and moan like an owl. For her wound is incurable. It has come to Judah. It has reached the very gate of my people, even to Jerusalem itself. Tell it not in Gath, weep not at all. In Beth Ophrah, roll in the dust. Pass on in nakedness and shame, you who live in Sapphire. Those who live in Zanan will not come out. Beth Izel is in mourning. Its protection is taken from you. Those who live in Maroth writhe in pain, waiting for relief. Because disaster has come from the Lord, even to the gate of Jerusalem. You who live in Lachish, harness the team to the chariot. You were the beginning of sin to the daughter of Zion. For the transgressions of Israel were found in you. Therefore, you will give parting gifts to Moresheth Gath. The town of Akzib will prove deceptive to the kings of Israel. I will bring a conqueror against you who live in Marishah. He who is the glory of Israel will come to Adullam. Shave your heads in mourning for the children in whom you delight. Make yourselves as bold as the vulture, for they will go from you into exile. Intense. Pretty intense reading. Pretty intense reading. That's about it, guys. Um, I thank you guys for being supportive, for watching. Um, uh, next vlog will be with Micah 2 um, and like I said I, I felt like reading this because I've really been thinking about justice and injustice and judgment and 
all types of things lately. So I want to share that with you. Um, it may not seem like it clicks for you personally yet, but it will when we get more deeper into the text, guys. But all word, all of God's word is, is applicable to our lives, not just in faith and practice, but in our whole life and our whole being. Um, it informs us of God's will. It informs, of, it informs us of God's voice. And it allows us to, to live in such a way when we hide that word into our heart that we may not sin against him. And this word rings true even today. All right, guys. Uh, once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys. God bless.